if a physician were to write a prescription for cyanidin 3 glucoside, myrecetin, and glucorophanin, you would not be able to fill it in a pharmacy. You would have to go to your local farmer's market or grocery store, because what you have actually been advised to do is to buy some blueberries, onions, and broccoli. The compounds mentioned are just a few of the numerous naturally occurring ones in plants that have health benefits. Such phytochemicals, from the Greek word for plant, can reduce blood pressure, blood glucose, and the risk of cancer. Doctors would do well to write such prescriptions. This isn't some idle chatter. There's actually evidence that such food prescriptions can produce measurable benefits. In the U.S., a number of programs exist that provide people with prescriptions in the form of vouchers that can be used to purchase fruits and vegetables. Candidates for such programs are children and adults who are at risk of disease, generally for being overweight, and are commonly recruited from low-income areas where food insecurity, defined as the consistent lack of food to have a healthy life due to poor economic situation, is widespread. A paper published in the journal Circulation, Cardiovascular Quality and Outcomes, examined the results of nine studies that had followed some 2,100 adults and 1,800 children who had participated in the food prescription programs and had agreed to periodic health checks. The pooled results showed that blood pressure, blood sugar, and body weight decreased with an increase in fruit and vegetable intake. The numbers are not dramatic, but still significant, especially given that the increase in food and vegetable intake was not great. Adults increased their intake by roughly a cup, children by about a quarter of a cup, but the total was still only half of the recommended five to six cups of fruits and vegetables a day. Unfortunately, there was no control group with which to compare results, so the benefits cannot absolutely be attributed to the increased intake of fruits and vegetables. But it is unlikely that in this population there would have been an increase in activity level or medications that could account for the changes. I think the study does provide evidence, although not conclusive, that increasing fruit and vegetable intake leads to measures that are indicative of better health. However, let's keep in mind that amounts matter. An apple a day is not enough. Two apples, a cup of broccoli, a banana, a kale salad, a tomato, and half a cup of blueberries may supply a proper dose of those beneficial phytochemicals. And that for today is our cup of coffee, which also contains ellagic acid, one of those beneficial phytochemicals.